Bear Grylls. And I'm going to seek out some of the most extreme challenges in the most dangerous locations on Earth, where having the right survival skills can mean the difference between life and death. I've come to the Sahara Desert, one of the hottest and deadliest places on the planet. That is just huge. Three and a half million square miles of burning sand the size of the US. Every year, people die trying to cross it, scorched by the highest recorded temperatures in the world. Because the sand is burning hot. Being stranded here is like being cooked alive. You've got to go there. This heat is killing. It's going to be my biggest challenge yet. Ugh. In one of the most inhospitable places on Earth. This place is relentless. Only the toughest can survive. Got cobra. I'm going to show you the extreme lengths you need to go to to stay alive in the death trap that is the Sahara. I'm in Morocco, in North Africa, flying into the Sahara Desert from the Atlas Mountains. It's enormous, a quarter of the African continent and sprawling across 11 countries. It's a harsh, arid wilderness that can cook you and kill you if you don't know what you're doing. There's no way out of here. Just staying alive is your only hope. If you get lost out here, the two most likely things to kill you are dehydration and heat stroke. Right now, I'm searching for shade. Any shade. See that little tree over there? We've got to go there. This heat is just killing. We've got to find shade. Ah, this shade really is a lifesaver. That sun. It's so strong. So strong. I already feel it's cooler. Much cooler. Ow. Ow. The heat's attacked you all day, but just when you could do with it at night, the desert has other plans. That's how fast this little fella is. Just like disappears into the sand. But actually, he's also good food. I'll just get rid of the head. Personally, I find them overrated, but the rest of the body looks delicious. You coming face to face with one are slim, but this one's been bought here for me to show you how to deal with it. The first thing you've got to do is just keep absolutely still. This one's around four foot long, and if you didn't stay still, this is what would happen. It can strike up to half its body length in under a second. Look, there you go, see that hood coming right out? And these guys move so fast, they kill almost 100 people a year in Africa. These... There you go, see them strike that? Always back off slowly and never corner a cobra but give it room to make a getaway. That's why I want to give this guy a really good berth now and leave him alone. But it's the merciless heat out here that is always a major killer. And the Sahara still has plenty to throw at you in your struggle to stay alive. Yeah, the more you fight the thing, the more it's gonna pull you in. Ah, 
You dog. Ah, oh, it's gone out. All that effort. And this time it hasn't worked. And you know, in many ways, I need to conserve my energy. It's no good just sitting here, pouring a sweat, going through that again. I'm in the Sahara Desert in North Africa, showing how to stay alive in the hottest place on earth. If you keep calm and use survival techniques, you can make it through this relentless heat and maximize your chances of being rescued. Oh. this area is hunting ground for the Berbers, nomads who have lived in the Sahara for thousands of years and are masters of desert survival. You need to be quick before the wind picks up. In the blink of an eye, this harsh heat can turn into a vicious blinding sandstorm. There are two ways down this. There's a slow plodding way it's going to take forever. Well, there's a fast way. When it's this windy up here, I just want to be down. Lean back and take big strides. It was pretty basic, but it should do. And if I dig on my way into this. Carefully without dislodging everything. I can actually already feel the warmth off that. And I'm sheltered from the wind behind me. If I nestle down into that, there's heat radiating off all of these rocks. And it probably wouldn't be the best night you'd ever spend, but it could well save your life. If you wrap this around your head, it'll buy you a few extra hours in heat that feels like you're being slow roasted. And believe me, it works. Learn how to deal with a deadly enemy. That can kill you. Cross the lethal toxic salt pans in the blistering heat. This place is just relentless. And discover some of the most stomach churning Berber survival techniques as I take on my biggest survival oh. challenge yet to show you how to stay alive in the Sahara. <laughs>